This is Dr. Zach Keenum with Dr. Eyeball MD. Today, I'm demonstrating the slip knot technique that you can use for open globe repair, corneal laceration repair. It's a great technique to use because it's a one, one, one knot. And so that makes a smaller knot that's easier to bury. And the biggest benefit of this is that it's a adjustable knot so that you can tighten and loosen the knot as you go. So that if you're throwing multiple, you can adjust the tightness uh, as needed during the surgery. I first want to demonstrate a little technique here for how to forehand and backhand grab a needle. So you can dangle it on the cornea, and depending on which way you push the needle, you can forehand there. Or if you pull the needle toward yourself, you're ready for backhand. So that's a great way to actually load the needle when you're doing corneal suturing. So let's get into how to actually do the slip knot. So I'll grab with my left hand, grab, and I'll go from with inside between the two sutures, so inside the loop, and cross here. That makes a square knot or a square first throw. Next, I don't let go with my left hand. Then I come from the outside, not the inside there, but the outside on the back of that suture, go around and come underneath there, grab the short tail. Here the key is to not cross, so don't cross. Keep that short tail on that side. And then at this point, we have created the slip knot. So after those two throws, that's your slip knot. You can loosen it like I'm doing here, and then you can retighten it as needed. Again, that allows for you to tighten and loosen as you go during an open globe surgery. That can be useful. For the last knot, come from the inside again like a regular throw. Grab the short tail, and I'll often pull 90 degrees here. That completes it. That's a 1-1-1 one, one, one knot, a slip knot here. Then we can simply trim off the tails and bury the knot within the cornea in the usual fashion, just like this. Now I want to demonstrate to you how this might be used practically while closing an open globe. So say we passed our suture here. We're going to start with the first throw, again coming from within the loop right here. We're going to grab the short tail and make sure to cross so that this first throw lays down flat. Then we're going to do our second throw coming from behind the long stitch, sweeping under and around, grabbing the short stitch, not crossing here, keeping the short stitch on that side, the short arm. Uh, and now we've created the slip knot. So this is the adjustable part here. So if we were doing an open globe repair, assume we were repairing a corneal laceration with multiple sutures needed, I'm going to leave a long end and a short end to keep us oriented. So this suture is still adjustable. Now I can proceed with passing more sutures to close the, the rest of the laceration if needed. And now assume we've passed them all, we've left a long and a short tail. We can adjust the tension as needed here, so I can loosen it if needed. I can come back and tighten it uh, if needed, and I can do that to each one along the course of the laceration. And when I have the tension appropriately, I'll throw that last throw, the third throw, to actually lock the stitch. So I'll grab the, the long end. Uh, you would be using an instrument here, but since I'm just demonstrating this with a larger suture, I'm using my fingers here, but I uh, come from within the loop, grab the short tail in the normal way. I pull 90 degrees, that locks the stitch. Now the suture is locked and it keeps the tension that we had decided after the second throw. We can trim the tails and we'll do that to all the sutures and that's the benefit here. Now we're going to watch one more time just for completeness sake here. First throw from the inside, come from the back, sweep around and under, grab the short, don't cross. This creates the slip knot. That's the adjustable part. If we're ready to lock it, do a regular throw, pull 90, and it locks it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'll see you in the next one.